Being a food critic seems like the best job in the world. And time and time again, these guys have gotten away with free meal after free meal. Now, I've never been able to get into a fancy restaurant. Was it the clothes I was wearing? The way I acted? Or maybe it was the fact that I wanted to order mac and cheese every time. Whatever the reason, I knew I'd never get this kind of nice treatment unless I could somehow become a critic. So, I'd work my way up and pose as a critic in restaurants rated 1 through 5 stars to see if they treated me any differently. Because I knew in order to get into a fancy 5 star restaurant, I'd need to bring the fancy to the restaurant. There's nothing behind me, right? Nick? All right guys, I'm dressed up as a fake critic. These glasses secretly record, and here's my notepad. Now I'm about to finally walk into this five-star restaurant, break my bank, and hopefully see if they treat me any differently than the average customer. But I had no idea what critics do yet. So first I'd learn to train as one, in restaurants rated four, three, two, and one stars. It's hard to even find restaurants rated one stars on Yelp, but you're looking at one of them. Our first stop on our journey as a fake food critic is here. A place so bad, some on Yelp have said they're gonna report them to the authorities. You guys know I've tried a lot of bad food combinations from my videos, but this restaurant especially had me worried to start this act out in. I just hope it's a good first day on the job. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Immediately when I walked in, everyone looked at me like I was a fraud. You know, I'm trying to be as undercover as possible, but I'm already off to a rough start. When I got up to the counter, I knew the prices had gone up since this piece of poetry was posted to the Yelp page. But of all the restaurants I'm about to go to, I'm sure this one's the cheapest. Immediately I remembered the three rumors I needed to test here and started ordering as much chicken as possible. Load that puppy up, thank you. Being a one-star restaurant, there were some serious rumors against this place. We needed to see for ourselves here and right away I was able to test the service for myself thank you what's your name, My name. yeah My name is Yin. Yin? Yeah. nice to meet you I'm Nick after I made friends with Yin, I was really starting to feel at home at this place. Which means the rumors about the bad service were probably not true, but there were still things that I wanted to investigate while I was still here. Such as the widespread rumors that the chicken on the menu here isn't actually chicken at all. Alright, so I got my food right here. I'm a little scared, but it smells good though. So after finally getting my hands on some of this notorious chicken, it was good. There's only one more thing left to investigate. Food equals good. She's tasty. My favorite place to eat is Taco Bell, so I know a thing or two about a good restaurant. <coughs> Back at my table, I didn't notice anyone catching on to my act as a fake critic yet. So I cracked open my tray and went to town on the rest of this Chinese food. As I kept eating though, this chicken did start to taste like something other than chicken. I recorded my final notes and by now I had almost completed the first star. And as expected, no one working in this restaurant questioned me or treated me any differently. Like I said though, I better learn now because as these restaurants get higher, I have a feeling that will change. I also got some cool shots of my food on this spy pen I just learned how to use. That's right, our gear has officially upgraded, baby, let's go! We were almost done here, but there was still one last thing we had to investigate. And I waited to do this one last, based on what I heard, because I didn't want to lose my appetite. The staff was really nice to me. The food, compared to Taco Bell, it's, it's okay. Half of it was okay. It, it was okay. It was okay. There's only one other way besides the food to determine a one star versus a five star restaurant, and that's the bathrooms. I have never seen a single bathroom talked so badly about in my entire life. And at first, I was a little scared just to walk in and do the review. Oh, they got art on the wall. Um, so I'm not gonna lie to you, this bathroom is a little creepy. I don't know why there's a chair. I hope no one comes and watches me go to the bathroom. 
By now, I had seen everything, so I put in my honest Yelp review, said goodbye to Yin, and asked her for change for a gumball on the way out. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I actually really like little restaurants like these, and my faith in this whole fake critic act was actually starting to build for the restaurants ahead. Oh, uh. <laughs> Alright guys, first restaurant was a success. My review is in, but now it's time to gear up because the restaurants ahead are gonna be a little bit more tricky, so... <clears throat> Gotta get ready for them. The restaurants ahead would be a little trickier, so in order to act like a critic, I need to be dressing like one. Wait, let me get my seatbelt on. To actually record myself in these restaurants, I'd need three simple tools. My spy glasses, my spy pen, and my spy watch. Which can tell time and record. What's the time? Oh, the time is me filming you. Ha! <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> The two-star restaurant was said to have a variety of items, and boy were they right. I started off by ordering like one of everything on the menu. Hi there, I'm gonna get a cookie churro and a beef taco, and then I'll grab some onion rings, two baskets of tater tots, half a fish, and I'll also grab an egg burrito, and then I'll do a couple like beans. They never suspected me of being a fake critic, and that was also the case at the three and the four-star restaurants. As they say in the world of fancy, this looks ex ex exquisite. Housekeeping! A vacuum. It wasn't until the three star restaurant when this act as a critic could have truly been blown. Oh, yeah. No! Oh, my masterpiece. No one saw? Let's get you home. Well, guys, I dropped the hot dog. Five second rule, right? It was the four-star restaurant when I finally noticed staff catching on. But any hopes of being treated like a critic were quickly ruined by my brother. This meal was very inspiring. The food is very inspiring. Okay. And I could taste the artistic work in every bite. I could taste the artistic work in every bite. And all that's gonna come out to $98. For one? The farther we went, the farther these prices were going up. But I was finally feeling confident in this whole critic act. And now, it would finally be put to the test at my first ever five-star restaurant. Psst. Can you see me? <laughs> Can you see me right now? <sighs> Nothing to see here. Just, uh... Just a kid staking out the five-star restaurant before he enters. I've been staking it out for about two hours now, and I'm finding gaps in the security, okay? They keep sending this big guy out, and I can't tell if he's on his break or if he's a guard. Tomorrow, I have a little trick up my sleeve to finally eat at one of these fancy places to see what they're all about. Hi, guys. Um, we're heading there now. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but... All this, all these restaurants have trained me for this moment right here, the five star. Um, man, I've never been in a five star restaurant. Like, what do they, what do they let you do in there? Do you get your own sodas? Do you have to ask to go to the bathroom? I remember last time I had to ask, and they didn't let me for like a while. I had to go to the, uh, number two. It's gonna go well, I think. I've had enough training, so. <laughs> The plan would be simple. Convince this place I was a critic by achieving a free dessert. And from what I knew, this place was massive. And they'd be watching my every move. This wouldn't be a one-man job, so I grabbed my brother to be the scout, my buddy Lucas to be the getaway driver, and then there was me, the critic. Fake critic. My brother didn't seem to have a problem getting in the building, and his job was to look for anything or anybody that could be a problem for me when I got in the building. But it didn't take long for him to get distracted. These are the nicest seats I've seen in my life. Finally, after a while, Lucas pulled me up to the front, and when the coast was clear, I started getting ready. This is it, ladies and gents. Will this five-star restaurant finally let me in? The plan has unfolded so nicely up to this point. Hello. Table for one. Right this way. After all that, was I really just walking right in? Enjoy your brunch. 
We made it, baby. The disguise worked. Free dessert, here I come. You know, it was kind of hard to describe, but at this moment, it was starting to set in that we've come a long way since the one star. This restaurant was enormous, and the waiters were nowhere to be found. But I'm not gonna lie, pulling off a fake food critic act in a place like this was starting to look like it would take a miracle. Because I still think they had their eye on me since the moment I got here. But there's been no sign of the Michelin star chef yet, so I ran off to the bathroom to practice my whole act one last time. You're the best critic ever. You got this. They're gonna love you. They're, gi they're gonna give you so much free dessert. They're gonna love you. You got this. I think the little milk will make me look fancy. four-star restaurant, the manager and chef came and talked to me. So I won't be surprised if the Michelin chef came to talk to me today. I got everything prepared. Need my business card? Boom! Business card. Need my website? Boom! I got my own website. I'm like super professional now, so don't talk to me. Hi. I think I know what I'm gonna get now. Uh, croque madame? Croque madame, yeah. Croque madame? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. I think I butchered that name, guys. Once I butchered the name, I started to notice that I was attracting attention. Finally, my plan, the free dessert, may have been starting to work. And still, there was no sign of the Michelin star chef. And it was getting hard to resist my urge to explore after finally guys, getting into one of these places. Where am I? Getting out of my seat was a mistake because I was quickly realizing I did not fit in. Going up. Upstairs, it was just tables and chairs as far as the eye could see. And above that was a giant empty ballroom. I should have stopped there, but I had to check out the bathrooms. And boy, these couldn't have been more different than the one stars. You guys have to see what they got. It was safe to say I really didn't fit in here, and I was starting to get the feeling that I was being watched, so I quickly headed back to my table, where something had been waiting for me this entire time. Wait, I didn't order these. French fries? Berries? Wait a second. I didn't order these things, but I was gonna enjoy them, because I think I was finally getting my sign that this whole critic act was starting to get somewhere. And it was after the free appetizers when I started to notice the biggest shift, because it wasn't long before waiter after waiter came to check on me. Then, food I never even asked for started arriving. And just when I thought things couldn't get any better, they started to ramp up. Any dessert tonight, sir? It'll be compliments to the house. Are you guys hearing what I'm hearing? I think that's fancy for free dessert. But only later did I find out these guys didn't think I was a critic. They thought I was a food TikToker. I got nervous and took a picture with one of the waiters anyway. Well, that was interesting. I finally got into one of those places. But for what? I spent more money in there than everywhere else combined, you know? And I just wanted to fit in, but I never really did anyway. You, they thought I was a food TikToker. Okay, okay, you know what? We'll call it mission part, su part success. Mission part success, because I did get in and I got free dessert anyway, so. Hey, let's go baby, <laughs> you did it! That's it! Yeah, uh, I think there's gonna be one more restaurant though. Nick, are you sure about this man? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. You see, even with all the free stuff at the five-star restaurant, my meal was $200. I liked it, but $200. Now that was a new record. I felt kind of bad, so I decided to go back to the other restaurants, spend the exact same amount, and see how far that $200 can get me. Thank you, man. God bless you guys. Oh.